Hi, welcome back to Push the Button, and this is The Lockdown. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, you're missing out because you're not getting your notifications of all the videos. Just hit it on YouTube, and there you go. You're helping me, and you're helping yourself by being notified. Today's guest I'm really excited about. The first song I ever played on the radio was by this person. I was 13 years old. It was Phoenix FM in Blanchestown. Please welcome Enya. <laughs> No, not that Enya. Not... not Enya? No, not the singer Enya. Oh, it is Enya? Yeah, it's Enya. Enya who then? Enya Martin. Enya Martin, from Gizala. That's the one, yeah. Brilliant. I like Enya Martin too. Let's have a chat to her. <laughs> Enya, how's it going? How's it going, Steve? Yeah, all good in this crazy world we found ourselves in. It's like a weird nightmare, isn't it? Yeah, it's, um, it's very surreal. I feel, I feel like I'm living in a movie or a video game, do you know what I mean? Not a very fun one either. No, it reminds me of The Last of Us or something. Did you ever play that video game? That's what Which one? Like. Did you ever hear of The Last of Us? Yes. Yeah, are, yeah. Are, you a, are you a big gamer? No, I wouldn't be. Do you know that? But um, if I was to play any games, it would be like them kind of like, what are they called? Like real life simulation or something like that. Um, oh, like okay, yeah. GTA and stuff. I used to look <laughs> GTA, going around robbing cars and shooting people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I, 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 like when you when you think back now, you're like, how did my mom let me me and my brother play that? You know, like jacking cars and stuff like. Yeah, <laughs> maybe it was a a good side to you that brought out your comedy side. Maybe. Yeah, oh, inspiration. Yeah, I take inspiration <laughs> for everything. So come here. Let's talk about gives a laugh. How did this all get started up? Oh God, yeah. So it's coming up to nearly probably five or six years now. So I, I put wow. the first video up um around twenty fourteen. Uh, December 2014 and do you know what it was it was I started seeing other people posting videos like that on Facebook and yeah I kind of have like a, a, a quirky streak in me so when I was in school I used to love taking the piss out of teachers but like they knew like it was obviously in good taste do you know what I mean they're taking the piss back but I never ever thought of like pursuing a career in, in, in comedy I always just kind of thought I'd have to go to college and, and I did go to college but it wasn't until the final year um that I started making the videos, I posted my first video and yeah, I, I just done it as I said because other people were doing it and I said, you know what, this is an opportunity to kind of show my quirky side because I used to do a lot of impressions of family members and stuff, my mum. Oh in yeah. Which is Go on, do your mum. Um, yeah, so she's a chain smoker so she always talks like she has four <laughs> cigarettes coming out of her gob. <laughs> <laughs> and how does she feel about your impression of her? Like she's flattered, you know what I mean? But she's actually starting to make her own appearances now on my Instagram stories. And people uh, are, like they actually, she's actually starting to outshine me now at this stage. That's not a good thing. Put her back in her place. Like I remember, um, I came into her one day when I was in secondary school, and I was doing my English homework, and she picked mm. up the book and she was like, "How to kill a mockingbird?" She's like, "I couldn't tell you, but the dodgy sauce just done the magpies out the back anyway." <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty, so like your inspiration is obviously from your mother as well. Yeah, the Dublin wit, like, do you know what I mean? You can't yeah. beat it. You really can't beat it. So come here, with this uh, coronavirus and with, I know in my own situation, like all of my gigs, all of my events, everything has just been pushed back and cancelled until further notice. Mm -hmm. Has it affected you? Like, because you do quite a lot of live stuff, don't you? Yeah, I mean, that's my bread and butter now, like the live shows, that's how I make an income. So yeah, like my two Vicar Street shows have been pushed back to May and August. Um, and, you know, Waterford, Kilkenny, Dundalk, five gigs have been pushed back, which is wow. not ideal. But you know what, no. I mean, like this this band was supposed to only like go up to like the 20, 29th of March. And I was like, oh, maybe like the 4th of April will still happen. But that was two weeks ago when I thought that. And it's only really starting now, you know, it's only really kind of starting to hit bad now. So. Yeah, it was a bit, um, bit of a kick in the teeth, but look, it was expected. I knew it was going to happen. Um, and even if they did go ahead, to be honest, I'd say only like 10% of the people would have showed up. Like, it's just not an ideal time for people to be in like large gatherings. So. No, it's not. And uh, I think with what the government have done as well, with trying to reduce the amount of numbers and, you know, telling people just stay in, keep yourself social distancing and everything like that. But like, unfortunately, not everybody's listening to it either. Like you saw the scenes out in Holt, everybody queuing up for bloody fish and chips. They must be made of gold or something, those fish and chips. I can't wait to taste them after this whole thing blows over, you know? I know, I don't know, I can't believe, like they only shut down, like the, the chipper only shut down the day after all the bad publicity came out. And I was like, it's a bit late now, isn't it? <laughs> 
that's because they made all their money. They're they're off like lying in bags of gold at the moment back in their mansion, maybe. Oh, they're not worried about income anyway. They won't be applying for that emergency payment scheme anytime soon. But like that's that I'm I'm probably gonna have to like I have savings and stuff. Like I'm not broke, like thankfully, and you know because I I suppose the good thing about me compared to like anyone else doing a nine to five job is. I, I just get paid in lumps from gigs, so it all just starts yeah. to accumulate, you know what I mean? Rather than just like getting paid by the week. But um yeah, it's, but, it's yeah, but with this situation, that's when that kind of stops and then you have gotta go back and look at your pot of money and go, right, yeah. how am I gonna make this work? So like it's not easy and how, what are you doing with your time to keep yourself busy? Well, do you know it's an ideal time uh to to put content up. Like I might have put loads of videos up, loads of uh memes and pictures and stuff and it's great like it's, it's an opportunity for me in disguise to be honest because before this like i was just so busy that i was only putting up a video once every two weeks and you know it's just like it definitely gave me a kick up the arse and yeah um i know like i'm not exploiting the situation but like it's also so topical at the minute that you can't not make content around it obviously not yeah. like you know offensive or um content that's gonna upset people but yeah, like, yeah. people need a laugh in a time like this so I'm delighted yeah well that's it. exactly why we're doing this as well it's like give give everybody something to look at you know and uh, maybe they might get a giggle or some inspiration out of all the people that we've been talking to just like you like you know you you found comedy in your life and you brought it and you went online and you, now you've made a career out of it so maybe there's somebody who's watching this now thinking do you know what all my friends think I'm funny I'm gonna do a video Go do your video. Do yeah. it. It's, it's and it's literally like like the amount of things like I'm gonna put up one I'd say today or tomorrow about helping your child with homework during mm. a time like this because I'm sure the parents are like just bombarded with like uh, books and you know all the all the work being sent home from school. So yeah, I definitely seen an opportunity to to have a laugh at that, you know. And it's not too sensitive or anything. And the thing is, like, it's i'm gonna be fresh in people's heads after all this and, and and they'll remember that so i hope that like um it's gonna leave a good impression on people so i have to i have to use them comedy skills um you know to, for the for the better as well for the greater goods well do you know Anya? you're right too as well listen stay safe keep putting up content and we look forward to seeing you on stage uh when the shows get re-announced as well all right ah uh, thanks a lot steve look after yourself you too bye Thanks, Enya, for coming on the lockdown on Push the Button. Don't forget, hit subscribe. All of Enya's details are down below, so make sure that you hit like. So you could share this. You could tell your friends about it. Hit subscribe, like us on Facebook and Instagram, and we'll see you next time.